vlogs, welcome to my guys. Ako nga pala si Alpha and Jara Ramiro. Alpha and Shore, ang ating kumulang sa bagong bagong bagong. Char! My name is Ira and now we are going to answer some questions. There's actually 10 questions that are given by your teacher. Ito ba ating location? And yes? We will answer it today. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. Thank you for calling customer service. My name is Saira. How may I help you today? Why you uh, always in the mood? Why you 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 always in the mood? However, no worries. I've been glad to assist you with that. So the first thing we have to do right here is to have your account number. May I have your account number, please? No, what would you? Yeah, um, we would like to know your account number for us to make sure that um, this issue will be resolved right now. Alright, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could you please provide me again your account number? I think I was not able to have some of it. Six, seven, eight, nine. I apologize, Miss Customer. I think that your account number is not listed in our system. Since I can see that your account number starts from letter six, and our account number or our standard account number that are listed in our system starts by number eight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. See? Even your system sucks. I cannot even search for me at that number right there. I got it. I apologize, Mr. So bad. Hello, did you watch the call earlier? So that call will definitely help us on our second question. The question goes as, what do you consider as a major challenge in answering or making phone calls? There are many challenges that we are encountering when we are making or when we are answering phone calls. A call earlier is an example of a major challenges when answering and making phone calls. In that scenario, the agent was about to believe that the customer or what the customer has said is true because with phone calls we cannot be able to determine what the customer is really emphasizing as well as we cannot be able to see their nonverbal cues and some noise at the background can really be distracting when we are making phone calls and that video scam was about to happen because of some mis- Question number three. What are the ideal qualities required to become a great broadcaster? Being a great broadcaster is not an easy job. Being a broadcaster requires a lot of confidence. Being confident can make a broadcaster speak with conviction and deliver news naturally. With that communication skills and knowledge, all will definitely follow. A great broadcaster should be able to understand or relate to his or her audience feelings so that she or he can engage with his audience. All in all, uniqueness is a very important and integral part of being a broadcaster. They say, if you are different, you are definitely visible. So, be unique! And Ilo Radio News anchor Renel Sorbito is my favorite local radio personality. I really like to listen to what he is saying over the radio because his voice is really pleasing in the ear. He is also entertaining and that's what makes him unique and different from other radio personality that I have here. So question number five guys, let's move on. What qualities do you already possess that would make you, you, try me, a potential broadcaster? For me, I already have the confidence, uniqueness, and power. 
power. Getting sad with what I mean about power is the power to make someone listen or engage in my news and have someone relate unto it. Has there been any changes in oral communication skills required on radio announcers and TV presenters from past to present? For me, seeing same faces in media since then and now, therefore I can conclude that there is no major changes, however for minor changes, there is. Radio and TV personalities right now is engaging with their audience so that they can entertain them. Radio announcers and TV presenters are now businesses. Why did I say that? Some TV and radio presenters are now used for business. People are using them for it for them to have some money. Question number seven. Do you think the communication skills of radio and television announcers before the advent of digital technology were far different from those of the present broadcasters? For me, it's a no-no. Yeah, but we can, we can see that for other radio and news or radio and TV personality, but for me to see the major differences between them, there is no. That one really depends on one's personality or one's capability or one's quality or one's talent. It really depends on a TV personality or radio personality on how they can be more effective or a more effective broadcaster to their audience difference between advent of technology and no technology or not that innovative technology is not a difference at all. This question. As a communication and media studies student, what do you think should you do to prepare yourself in becoming an effective oral communicator across all various platforms? Prepare for the worst, not for the expected. Char! For me, prepare yourself from any feedback and suggestion any people may give. Accept that we ourselves are not perfect, and there is always one person who is better than us, or there are always persons or people that are better than us. Acceptance will really play a, an important thing for you to overcome those challenges. Do the video that you watch attract to the broadcasting industry, specifically broadcast journalism? Yes, yes. In all honesty, I can be able to say that those videos attracted me to do broadcasting and Let's move on. Think of three most important qualities of an oral communicator across platforms. First, communication skills. What? Communication skills is a really important quality that can make you a better broadcaster across various platforms. Second, being unique. As what I've mentioned earlier, being unique can cost you something like you are really visible to this span of a hope. Third is patience. As you are a broadcaster, it means that you are engaged or you are in front of many jobs. You cannot say that you'll be perfect all throughout something that you said. We ourselves are not perfect. So being patient or being willing to accept feedback as well as suggestions can really make you a better broadcaster than other people. All in all, being a broadcaster, major personality, a radio anchor is not an easy job. So, I think guys, I